What's happening, BC Spirit? Spirit today, number 18. Today, we have the Pemberton Distillery Apple Brandy, which you kick around, you see around a little bit, but again, Apple Brandies, Calvados's, you're not, you're not seeing a, you're not going to a liquor store and seeing 15, 20 different uh, interpretations of Apple Brandy and Calvados in the province. It's still a very niche product, and we talked uh, this week with Rick Pipes from Marydale and talked about his fruit brandies and stuff like that. Um, so it's still a very niche brand. So Pemberton Distillery's uh, Apple Brandy is 12 different organic and heritage style apples crushed fully. So like just so seeds, stems, the whole shebang. Um, uh, slow ferment over a couple of weeks and then double distilled. And so then aged in uh, oak. So I'm very curious about this one. Aged in oak casks for 14 months, 2017 harvest. I've had this bottle kicking around for a little bit. But as you know, I do love my fruit brandies. I've always found Pemberton's, um, if you've ever watched any of my episodes, you know that I talk about terroir-specific terroir distillery terroir. Um, I don't think we're going to have a regional specific, uh, a la whiskey in Scotland um, or bourbon in the US. Uh, I think it's going to be very specific to the distillery. Um, Pemberton has a very distinct um, terroir sort of flavor profile. Um, you, most notoriously known for their potato vodka, their shrimp potato vodka, which I did a couple of weeks ago in the single varietal vodkas, um, because it's 100% potatoes, which are a real nightmare to, to process into a actual distillable mash. Um, <clears throat> let's give the apple brandy a go. Yeah, there it is. I'm, I'm, I think it's either the yeast or just the distillery. Uh, it's got this very interesting like it's a beautiful what it reminds me of is um loading hay like a hay barn uh dry wood um hay hay dust that's what it reminds me of just because that's what i did growing up the apple is there but it's a very musty sort of apple almost like an apple leaf apple leaf would probably be really good Let's give it a go. One taste, you know the rules. Extremely dry. Mouth, like, clearing dry. The apples are very, very interesting. Like, cause you, I think cause there's so many different apples and then you've got sweet and tart and, and sour and tannic. They're all plain in there, so you gain this mixture of different apple flavor profiles. Like if you've been into a fresh sweet apple, like a like a classic red that you get at a supermarket, and then you buy into a cider apple. Um, these are the sort of different flavor profiles that are playing around in the in the thing. The distinct terroir specific flavor profiles of the Pemberton is definitely there. That musty hay barn sort of feel to it, um, which I just love. Their potato vodka has it. All this all these products have it. But this, it's rich apple, dry, it's very, very specific um, in the way the oak ages it all and balances it all out. It's not heavy, even though it's 14 months, it's not heavy on the oak profile. It's very, very um, balanced. Uh, it's a ballsy little bugger too, 44%. Um, it's an apple brandy that's a very, very different style of apple brandy. I would say that if you really explored your Calvados's and your apple brandies in Europe, you'd find a region in like Germany or France they had this very dry cider apple sort of uh, flavor profile to it. It's uh, not overly sweet, it's f super, super dry. But that's the Pemberton Distillery Apple Brandy, uh, number 18 today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.